we're at Oxa High School, and what we're in is the auditorium area. And the um, right after the storm, we come in and started doing it. And up on the stage area, there was probably a good inch to two inches of water, and it was leaking down into the orchestra pit. And we had a good 12 to 18 inches of water at some point. And you can still see the water still standing in the back where we lost power on the sump pumps. Uh, you've got matting there where water's still standing on it. So the water, there was standing water going down. But you can still see it. See it along the front edge here? where it ran from down other leaks that came in. And you can see where it blowed all in up underneath the lockers. All right, so we're here at Osceola County School for the Arts. Uh, where uh, the county crews from the school district are getting all, getting this location and every other school campus ready to open potentially on Monday. We've been closed now all week and Friday of last week, but uh, there isn't one particular issue here in, in the schools. We have a multitude of issues. Like when we're out here at, at School for the Arts, as you can see, this is part of the drop-off lane for buses and for parents. And at one point, this was under two feet of water. Uh, we also had standing water in the loading docks and out front, down trees, uh, down uh, limbs, down debris. Inside here we had uh, standing water in the auditorium, uh, uh, up to 18 inches in the, uh, the, uh, or or the, the, the orchestra pit. Um, but uh, the, the problems are are varying countywide. Down around Point Siena there's still problems with uh, lift stations and being able to have enough water for students. Uh, there's like there, there's tree limb issues, there's water issues, there's window issues. But uh, I was speaking with the, the director of security and safety, Lester Yates, who feels confident that everything is going to get taken care of and we will get back to normal and back to school on Monday the 18th. So, so for the Osceola News Gazette, I'm Ken Jackson, and check with us later.